Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have the Droid FLL robot. You've seen that video before. If not, check out the link at the end of this video for the Droid robot. But today, I'm just gonna take the attachment, which is super cool because it just slides in like that. And I'm gonna basically take it to the City Shaper table to show you what this medium motor attachment can do. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. Okay guys, before we get to the video, I'm just gonna let you know right now I'm recording this on Monday, January 27th, the day after Kobe Bryant passed away. And I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, but I just wanna let you guys know, you know, living in the Southern California area, this hit me pretty hard and it was yesterday that he had passed away. Um, but you know, even if you don't like basketball, what you can take away from Kobe Bryant is just you know, no matter if it's robotics, no matter if it's, you know, playing the piano, whatever your skill, the hobby that you want to perfect, what you can take away from his life is just the fact that he, you know, he just devoted 100% of his effort towards that. And so, you know, for those of us that do robotics, that's where you can take what Kobe Bryant did and just apply it to robotics saying, you know what? You know, we didn't do so well this year in FLL. I'm gonna learn and, you know, figure out as much as I can so next year I can be better. And the year after that, I can be even better than that. So that's kind of the approach I've taken too is, you know, whatever we put our hands to, we just wanna do that with 100% effort just because we don't wanna give ourselves any less, you know, of the effort because, you know, that's what we do in our lives. We just expect the best out of ourselves and we don't wanna cheat ourselves or anybody else, especially those that are on our team or coaches. We just want to give everything we can just because everybody expects that of us. If you're on a robotics team, everybody should be giving 100%. And you know, if you give less, that just makes your team that less effective. And you know, when you guys go into a competition, you just want to be at your best and not have anything less. So I just want to give, you know, give props to Kobe Bryant because, you know, not only living in the Southern California area, but just watching him over all of the years of his career, that's just the thing that I admired was just the tenacity of, you know, if I'm not doing the best I can, I want to, you know, I'm just not going to settle for championships. I want to get better. Or I want to, you know, get more just not for the fact of having it, but just the achievement and success. So that's what you guys can take away from Kobe Bryant is just trying to be the best you can, you know, as yourself pushing forward to learn more, to be better. And that's where we should be headed, you know, in robotics. Let's get back to the video. So again, check out the Droid FLL video that I did just on this robot here. And now for today, we have this really cool attachment that just falls right into place. So if you can see, there's the double media motors. And now, so you're thinking, well, okay, so yeah, how do we get this to do missions? Today's video is all about using these motors to get the City Sheeper missions done. So let's take a little dive into how this actually works. Okay, everybody, let's talk about this droid robot and this medium motor, dual medium motor attachment right here. So... As I had built this droid robot, I was like, hey, we have the medium motors here. I had to actually click on the instructions on how to get this built and installed. So check this out. What's really cool is this will actually get placed. I'm just trying to hold my phone here. See this uh, picture frame right here? It actually slides right into this slot right there, right there. So check this out. It can just pop on right there and we're good to go um, the medium motor is a little bit high I'll be honest the where the medium motor was on that core robot right here in the front was um, you know just for my style it was better because you know the medium motor when you're driving somewhere you'd like to you know get to it right where it is 
And a lot of the city shaper models, you know, whatever you're trying to reach or grab is right here. So it's going to take some modification um, to, you know, make these medium motors um, get done what I need to for city shaper. But, you know, if I now go to motor control, we can now uh, operate that motor and we can now operate that motor. And what's awesome is when I'm not using it, I'll just take it out. I need it, pop it back in, and the motors will work just as soon as I install this. And if I don't need it, look how easy it is. Just a pop on and off. So that's just really cool, a really cool feature. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just begin to build around this to complete some City Shaper missions. Okay, so I had put in uh, a medium motor swing. Um, sometimes it doesn't need it because the arm will just automatically go underneath here and hit the, you know, the red bars out. So in that case, um, I don't even need, I didn't even need that medium motor swing. I think it just did it on its own. So there's a mission done with this medium motor attachment. Okay, I have the droid bot ready for the crane now. I just um, put on this bottom attachment to get it to swing up and it'll basically get under here and swing the lever up and hopefully drop this blue unit. So let's check that out. Okay, so I like this droid bot as far as, you know, you're going to have to get it to go a little lower for things because that crane um, lever is pretty low. But, you know, it's nothing that we can't attach, you know, to certain things to get that done. So, again, when I don't need this, I just pop this off. Okay, everybody, I have the droid FLO robot here. I have this blue unit in this medium motor attachment. So we're still trying to figure out whether this droid FLO bot can be, you know, made to do all the city shaper missions. And we're trying to get over to this tree house and drop this blue unit into the lower branches. So I'm trying to get this thing to accomplish all of the city shaper missions that would require this medium motor. So let's check it out. That's fantastic. Okay, and then the beauty of it is um, this medium motor attachment. I don't want it for the next mission, just pops out real easy like that. So that's the really cool thing about this. And if I, you know, do a mission and I need to use it again, it just slides back in there and I can control, you know, that medium motor is ready to go. Okay guys, so hopefully you liked this medium motor attachment. And again, I can't get over the fact that it just slides in here and automatically will hook into, because of these blue connectors right there, it'll just hook right into this motor to get it to work. I mean, you know, that's basically the easiest you can get. And you know, like I said, it's not in the most ideal place for me but that's gonna just come over time where you guys can perfect having the motor be in that position um, to get the missions done that you need to. So again, those of you that like this Droid FLO robot, which I do too, and again, I love these that help, you know, you hit the board and not necessarily get stuck on it. Um, I like it. Um, give it a shot. Um, again, it's, you know, the, the makers of this claim that it's not perfect. So, you, you know, you remember the clearance part of, you know, it trying to get onto the elevated places or the bridge. Um, 
But that's where modification, that's where ingenuity comes in, where you might be able to modify this bot to be able to do that. So as we push forward into this new year, keep you know going on with your city shaper, with learning about first Lego League to be better for next year. And yeah, we're all having fun, right? Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out.